Captain. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Rajiv. How are you? Very, very good. How are you doing? So far, so good, Rajiv. Fantastic. Finally, I have you on the show. We've been wanting to have this for a long, long time, but for whatever reasons, within our control, without our control, yes. we couldn't have it. But finally, we are there together on the show. So, such a lovely feeling to have you. Great to, to be together. Absolutely. And what is exciting is uh, you are the second author guest of the season. So that's so exciting for me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So before we get started and have a lovely conversation on the book that you have written, and I must tell you that it was breezy, it was smooth, it was flowy. Uh, you have the knack of writing, which makes it very visual. That's what I sent you on text. And I want to mention that again, it was very, very nice. Uh, I'm not an army man, but I'm I'm born to a civil servant, so I've lived this civil service kind of sarkari life, and I had a lot of friends in the army, uh, in the air forces, and also the navy. A couple of them are still in service, so I know what kind of life it is. So it was absolutely nostalgic and inspiring for me to read your book, and I'm so excited. Thank you for your kind words, Rajiv. <laughs> yeah, that's so humbling of you. People know you, Captain Pranav, on LinkedIn. You are all over there in all formats that somebody can be there on a social platform. But because the show warrants me to introduce you formally, <laughs> let me do that. All right. So good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whichever part of the world you are in when you will be listening to this conversation. All of you, welcome to Leaders in Library Season 3. We have yet another guest for the day, none other than Captain Pranav Prasoon. All of you know him on LinkedIn. He is widely read, widely followed on that platform by many young and old leaders. But let me still talk a little about him. He is head of HR, Renault India Private Limited, a soldier, and I won't call him an ex-soldier because a soldier is always inside a man or a woman who is out of the services also. HR leader, an author, a coach, a poet, somebody who very, very strongly believes in adding all the experience for many young minds because I've seen him on multiple platforms where he speaks to universities, speaks to IIMs and other management schools in India and somebody who lives life by passion and purpose. So thank you so much to have you here on this particular show, Captain. Thank you, Rajiv. So, so kind of you. I'm really feeling good <laughs> for the interaction. <laughs> it's all something that you have done. So now no credit to me, all thank credit you. to you. All right, so I'm going to get started with the first one. So the book is an interesting book. Very, very honestly, it's a lovely book because, you know, normally I have people who come and talk about leadership books, which is a little heavy, right? And you understand what I'm saying. It's, it's got a lot of concepts. It's got deep sight in it. Your book was very simple, very real, very relatable for any young lad or a girl who went through that life and then moved on in career and today made something for themselves. That was very interesting. Right. Thank you. But I'm going to start with the first question. When did your association with books start? Okay, uh, rather uh, com before coming to association with book, let me tell you about reading. Uh, so I come from a very small place in Bihar. And those were the times when even uh, English daily, Times of India used to come only once in a, in a, in a week. It used to come from Delhi. And uh, for example, if uh, Sunday's newspaper used to be the thicker one, if you want to buy, then it used to come on, it used to come on Wednesday. So uh, somewhere from there, if I remember six, seven standard, the reading thing started and speaking tree was my love. So, uh, and the editorial, of course. So that was something which I used to love. So somewhere I was blessed. Maybe it is there in our culture, that spirituality, uh, that philosophical thinking, that the concept notes used to be, uh, adding some value and uh, that's how a depth started happening uh, so that was my my if i if i remember my association with with um, reading and with god's grace i was blessed with a very good english teacher still i am in good contact with her and uh, she used to motivate me a lot and uh, honestly she has given me enough opportunities to talk to learn and uh, that the so the the grooming was good you know that's how and even my my principal he was quite uh, quite uh, 
uh, a declared you know english professor then uh, which was fantastic uh, in this guy so with good people good grooming uh, that's how the genesis started and various books were told but uh, maybe i was Super. too busy or things were not uh, you know available then but uh, less than the text if i tell few books which uh, which right. came and it were in vogue, vogue then where like uh, you can win by shiv kera uh, count your chicken before so th- that was when i i honestly means i was there in the college and these uh, you know books were in vogue rich dad poor dad so such books you know come, came into genesis but the actual reading uh, the the sort of the the behavior the pattern mm-hmm. started in the college mm-hmm. and in army for sure but yes the taste happened in the college yeah a lot of writing also started happening as you joined the services in it writing the blessing of my english teacher so i used to write poems uh, then and uh, she used to correct it so she used to give me those things so that's how the thing started but the expression of the feeling the expression of of uh, the language started from there and uh, then a lot, lot of reading was for sure not there but uh, yes expression used to be there uh... Yeah. and the expression is visible in the book so let's let's talk about a couple of things that interested me you know uh, i think five six things were very interesting and i, I could i could relate them uh, with them and i also thought that when listeners listen to these phrases and your understanding of them from a from an ex army life and today a corporate life i think it's a lovely connection that you can establish for all the listeners right mm-hmm. first one <laughs> you say everything is mental you hold it longer and you win at a particular point where it's 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 crazy is long drawn it just test your vigor it just test your mental strength what do you mean by this for young leaders when you say everything is mental you hold it longer and you win yeah i thought you know this book is really written from the heart there is nothing which i portray it is all you know near near me right so the feelings are very much it is all felt and written so while when when i talk about this line i i go back to the academy i was mm. trained by a para commando uh, colonel sangram singh shorichak and uh, you know that the, the paras are not normal people they are the elite they are the best you know which indian army has got and um, i was you know uh, the one of the worst maybe cadets uh, who has never ran in his life who was always in the college representing the college in fest and all and uh, never played any game so that was if if, if i can tell you so i was a non army guy mm-hmm. so everything which i learned uh, right you know on on developing myself on the physical front mm-hmm. uh, uh, understanding the nuances of army happened in the in the academy mm-hmm. so then i remember there was a once you go there and army has their own ways of training you mm-hmm. so if you if you are a physical guy and if you do a little bit of running means 2.4 kilometers in 8 to 10 minutes means you have to be sprinting through Uh, and i remember those days we races and he was he was there he was my my trainer so he was there at the at the at the you know at the, where the race was was over and he was laughing and he was uh, uh, he told me that pranav you you uh okay pranav for, for a moment just pause i just want to check if if the uh, wifi at your side is strong because it's your your breaking off your video is just stagnated there you want to check yes i can i got you back yeah so i lost you in between so i just wanted to check it happened twice i thought it will it will go through is there a is there a wifi issue at your side because at my side no, is the signal very strong the same yeah yeah okay no worries yes continue yeah so i was talking about you know my my training this and then i get to this para commando and then he tells me Uh, while we are running uh, my training started and the first day he took me for a very long run and he told me this phrase that that you 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 just continue for long and and that's how you win uh, because what happens somewhere we leave the things in between mm. you know and maybe the when the you say then when the uh, going get stuff mm. we we generally mm. quit that's mm. how the generally you know mm. the, the maximum population uh, mm. we we give up. but then you have to be tougher 
and it's all about breathing until the time yeah. you're breathing you're living you know things are fine yeah. so the, the, the sentence comes from him and um, of course in my life i take him as my mentor he's no more now but mm -hmm. this this entire journey this entire uh, warrior thing uh, about the fighting spirit is, is given by by him and these were his words Lovely, lovely. And how, how, how relatable to the current corporate world also, right? When things are so volatile, uncertain, and things get tougher sometimes. It's just about having the tenacity to hold on, right? Until go to the last yeah. mile. No, uh, this 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 uh, pandemic was a, was a great example, right? Mm. Uh, it was tough for all of us in all the phases. Uh, you know, if I give you the example of manufacturing sector, the dealerships mm. were not open, the, the products were not being sold. Mm. And, uh, you know, things has to continue, right? And then we have those things coming, which used to be, you know, uh, made in a, in, for, in a fancy way, so-called business continuity planning. Right. Uh, uh, but we saw the real, real depth of it happening mm. or not happening. Mm. There, were, there were just beautiful PPTs and, or they, they could be executed, True. right? True. And that, if you say, and many companies came into, I'll not name them, uh, came into so-called uh, uh, limelight uh, for doing non uh, non ethical or not justifiable things. Mm, mm. Uh, but it was easy that you know those employees who are working with you, you have to reduce the operational cost. You bring your head count down, and maybe you know the uh, if you say operational cost, almost sixty percent of the cost comes from as a labor cost. Uh, so many companies did that. But it, it, then I felt so called this word. Um, if if we bring it in the corporate sector, it is called resilience, right? Yeah, so yeah. you fight it, you know, you hold on, you fight back, you continue, and and that's how the thing happens. So yeah. and many companies were were created examples where the leadership uh, team took so, took some cut and continued, uh, you know, uh, the operations forward. So it's quite relatable, you know. Right. The things will pass. The beauty of anything is it will pass. Mm. But in that case. If I connect with the, with 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 the with the army days in that in those 2.4 kilometers, how you you did it, you you held it for long or not, uh, how you continued, uh, because the memories yeah. you will have, you cannot yeah. get over the memories, right? So no. that makes the difference. And uh, any authentic leader, uh, for that matter, if I say, mm. uh, will never make a temporary decision. Okay. Okay. And and will be connected on on the real time basis with the team, mm. right? And and all of them as, as a complete team uh, carries on, and once they they carry on like this, they win. So that's why uh, that's how I think that the things are connected. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. Let's go to the next one. And, and as I see this, I was I was laughing when I was reading these pages. Also, right? <laughs> so much of so much of I don't know if you can use the word frustration for lack of another word, and you can't escape and go out you know you say his days were fully loaded and you had no time to breathe six to eight hours of classes games your otws my god it was one after the other right tell me Pranav, today when you look back what were two or three key learnings that you picked out of this tight schedule that was just thrust upon you <laughs> So, you know, when I came from there, this book was written almost like what uh, the, the, the inspiration would have been uh, 15 years, almost 15 to, to, to 18 years, something like that. Uh, but when I came out and when I was there in IM, the things were the same. You know, the classes used to continue like 10 hours, you know, those projects and everything used to be there. So when I say uh, when you are learning, when the process of making is happening, mm. of course, you are, you are, you know, to the full. You know, uh, um, uh, in army, of course, it is it is about the learning, uh, it is about the exposure, it is about the physicals. It is because you have to be, uh, you know, prepared on on all the fronts. Correct. Now, here or there, that's what I say. That when the making happens, you will be engaged or you will be completely uh, uh, submerged in, in mm. into it. Mm. Now, uh, one thing, and it is it is a cliche term now, uh, uh, which I carry from there is prioritization okay. and um, a lot of lot of us we we talk about that book uh, uh, 5 a.m club yeah. uh, but for us in army we were taught 4 a.m clubs and we were, <laughs> we, we were we were the guys who used to wake the 5 a.m club so mm. uh, the, 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 it, it's simple you know you you start early you have more time all of us have got 24 hours if yeah. you prioritize it and if you prepare for it mm. you know life becomes easy and today, and I see uh, whenever, if my team or when, whenever we conduct, mm. and maybe that is a complete army way of thinking. Mm. Whatever we do, it, it used to be a complete SOP used to be there in front of me, mm. right? How you do it. And and 
to make that sop of course you have to be knowing the entire subject very true. right so nothing comes because if the the worst thing happening in 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 a so called war mm. or a battle is you are taken by surprise yeah. means your planning is not there if mm. you don't start the thing early those mm. steps and the process you are not defined mm. sometimes it is also hindrance when when i come to the civil uh, world when you say mm. that if everything uh, you you plan then you mm. are not ready for the changes right mm. uh, but it is it is balancing on the both the factors balancing true but if you if you start early if mm. you prioritize the things which is mm. which is too cliche which is spoken in in both both the terms i think things becomes easy uh, things become simple and you have more time to rehearse and execute lovely lovely are you still a 5 am or a 4 am person of course yes seriously yes wow So it is. And, and, it is now in my in my muscle memory. You can say like I cannot sleep more than four thirty. So sharp. Even I I don't I I don't need alarms and all. Sharp four thirty. Uh, uh, you know I'll I'll wake up and the day starts from there. When do you hit the bed? Uh, by eleven. Ah, twelve. One, two, three, four, five hours. That's it. Yeah. That's good enough sleep, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Lovely. That's so fantastic. And that book, Five AM Club, is a. is a definite recommendation for a lot of people to pick it up and read people who have not been in the army guys who are listening to this conversation uh civil life gives you a lot of luxury uh, yeah. uh makes you lazy for whatever reasons uh i think 5 am club is a fabulous book that you should pick it up and read it gives you techniques that can help you get more hours in your hands to do things like what captain is talking about Yeah, or the alternative, don't read the book. Get up at four thirty, like chapter. These are the two choices. <laughs> we can order which one you want to pick. You know what? The point which I wanted to bring here is, even if you read the book, of course the book is beautiful. If uh, you know, if if you have time, please go go and and get it. But the fact is, uh, it is the way that the the life should start. Sure. When you see the sun rising, you know, or rather when you wake up the sun to rise. Mm. There's a Uh, one is you 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 start early so and of course you know it it, it is not that you 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 uh, you know sleep late and you start mm. whatever you, everybody has its own own time and and its own clock but in that peace in that darkness mm. you know when you see the the dawn happening mm. you will find a lot of hope you will find a lot of strength you so even in my bad days or my bogged up days uh, you know Uh, that is the way i i conduct myself and and generally you know i'm i'm carrying carrying myself with a lot of passion so that that gives me a lot of energy that okay. gives me a lot of energy a lot of a lot of me time uh, you know yeah. and yeah. Yeah. look at that when you said wake up the sun that was a poet coming out of you so beautiful <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go to the next one this is very interesting uh you say studying in the army was disrupting the whole canvas which i had painted of the army in life today in the world right that a lot of things are very different people join organization with expectations some of them match some of them do not match from this learning of yours as a civilian to the army and now a civilian what are few tips that you would give to the young leaders so that they hold on no uh, 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 rajiv i will also mention you no know, and plus i must you know uh, uh, sort of talk a bit about rajiv I, I, and i mentioned in my post that he is one of the most read uh, person whom i have seen and uh, this is needed because once you are you finishing for example at a level which is an mba or or your graduation you feel that life is over and the, the learning stops and the only action starts mm. happening mm. so allow me uh, that mistake because mm. this book was written when i was a lieutenant and uh, uh, so our thing was okay you are out from from the academy and the thing stops and just boom boom starts happening post that but uh, uh, any precision comes mm. with a lot of learning mm. and uh, i used to be a guy you can tell you know we have this word here in civil called a rebel talent so i was mm. a rebel talent i'll be okay. i would be asking a lot of questions you know and i was a mm. question guy why they are doing this why they are doing drill why mm. they are you know running 5 km which we have a ba- battle proficiency efficiency efficiency test with a gun and with our complete combat we have to run you know 5 right. km and some timing and also uh, 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 there used to be a ob- obstacle training so many things together so mm. i used to question everything you know why this is happening why this is happening and with this entire thing happening mm-hmm. you have a real time for the studies and right. real time the- Study. You have the war techniques. You have the the strategies happening. You have the 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 uh, you know the the military laws and all those factors. So it was a a running of an organization. We are not mm. mercenaries, right? We are we are right. you know educated 
discipline uh, 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 you know uh, a fraternity whose job is to protect the nation correct so maybe that when i was a, a young guy uh, that maybe those things were missing but as, as i matured and there's a lot of learning which happens in army by the way and i was one, in one of the most professional arms which is uh, artillery so a lot yeah. of training happens there yeah because you fire the guns and the guns you know the range is almost 50 kilometers 90 kilometers and even mm. missiles it's more than that so mm. the, the fact is uh, if you don't learn you mm. cannot execute so right. that was the army part of the story in the civil part of story we think that okay doing the mba and everything project management or the pmp certification things are done but as rajiv has his heart lying in in the training and od uh, the things doesn't it and as a yeah. junior leader or a senior leader till the time you are adding every year yeah. or you are you are taking yourself uh, to to levels up mm. then only you survive or you are obsolete because whatever we learned yesterday was for yesterday Correct. And whatever we have learned, we we will be learning from today uh, in today's sector in manufacturing the sector which I am there in auto automotive. Mm. EV is coming and EV is will be a game changer and everything in EV we are learning now. True, true, true. Autonomous driving is 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 the future and everything in that we are learning now. So gone are the days uh, where where the things used to be simple. Uh, every day, every moment, the, the 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 things are changing and we all have to be abreast with those changes. Then only mm. we can serve. So that's right. what my my right, lovely, lovely. You know, as I was reading this, I was also thinking maybe you and your 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 colleagues, batchmates, they all came in. They thought, "Acha, Aram ki zindagi hai. We'll join army, get those stars on the shoulders. Then Raja ka zindagi hai. You'll have at at the flick of finger at the tap finger, have people, audience around you to take care of things for you. Officer ban gaye. But then you realize that there's so much of grueling that happens to prepare you for the nation, isn't it? Yes. no here i will i'll say that you know young soldiers a lot of energy right it's a yeah. lot of kids like coming from the from the college right so a lot of energy you you call them interns here we call them lieutenants mm. here interns or let's say uh, you know a, a junior level uh, people mm. but the fact is everyone has got an aspiration to 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 do the boom boom you know the, yeah. for the operations that's how yeah. it is right and yeah. and uh, but everything takes time right mm. that to to mobilize that energy is when you are split into so many activities and uh, uh, it is very difficult to control the young people <laughs> right <laughs> we have these young officer courses which happens in different different arms uh, in different different places uh, and uh, of course you know there is so much of uh, of beautiful times uh, like we you can take your i i saw your posts about your college uh, similarly it is uh, school of artillery uh, which is there in in in, in maharashtra uh, where you have a lot of association and it is like those college days right yeah. but with this because people are coming from across the borders uh, the, the upbringing is different and courage and 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 uh, operations is something which defines your so, you know soldiering so you mm. seek you know those uh, um, uh, encounters mm. but yes uh, till the time one day the encounter will happen for sure mm. but once the encounter happens how prepared you are prepared. that will define that you know so lesson learning that so the lesson for the young leaders in the corporate world is they will also have encounters of different yes. formats and types in their life how prepared are they making themselves yes is what is the differentiator isn't it very much very much and see i know i i very can true. so this 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 example of pandemic was mm. an eye opener for all of us Absolutely. right mm. and all your plans which was shelved like you know those business continuity or the resilience one Yeah. if they are not tested and they, they uh, the, the most beautiful thing for both be the hr mm. used to be the employee motivation and the employee morale yeah. these days yeah. we are talking about the purpose the the purpose mm. of the employee. and then we saw and now we are talking about the great resignation happening yeah. so if the purpose of the employee was connected to the purpose of the organization and that mm. by the way doesn't happen in these two years it, it either it happened or it was not there yeah yeah right if that was connected those companies were completely comfortable and are comfortable now absolutely we created those systems procedures methods you know orientations engagements those companies who started creating it at the time of and 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 were working on those plastic hr techniques they were falling mm. on the face absolutely and those are the companies actually were seeing with the psychology of the of of the of a human animal shifting mm. you see the changes happening correct correct so it takes time you know organizations are not built in one day and i even any any soldier or a warrior is not made in one day oh, and these tips are are required very much to make uh, the person from a just an officer to a warrior or just 
you know, a, a, a just an intern or, or a graduate to, you know, an employee. I think so. Lovely. I think very beautifully articulated. I think, I think it's, it's important to give that time I and mean, then stay the course and then eventually you, you create the soldier for the nation or you create the employee for the organization. Very rightly said. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about this, which was very interesting and I'm going to read this. Uh, I'm able to connect to this Corona days that you spoke about, right? I think one, one, one element of Corona that taught me and I'm, I'm assuming it taught many is uh, respecting the simplicities of life. And not trivializing anything in front of you in life. Because the next second you're off. Yeah? That's a great lesson I think I got. And I'm sure you and others also would have felt that. What you said here is very interesting. It says, the army teaches the importance of even a simple thing. For instance, a letter. Yeah. Tell me, how did you pick this learning into your journey to the corporate world? And how has it helped you as a leader for now? That would be a lovely lesson for many young leaders. And I'll complete this question by telling you, uh, with a bit of a sadness here, if I can say that with, with 23 plus years of corporate experience, uh, young leaders don't mind me saying this. Uh, today, young leaders, they don't value things the way things should be valued or it was valued in our father's generation. Maybe it's because of so many things coming easily. Everything happens quick and fast. So in this kind of a world, I think your statement made absolute sense to me. Elaborate this for the young ladies. Uh, thank you, uh, Raji, for mentioning it. Um, maybe it is too outlandish, if I say, or it is mm. not in vogue, uh, you know, mm. writing letters. And uh, things were not very different, uh, you know, uh, let's say 10, 12 years back. Yeah. Still, letters used to exist and we used to crave for those letters from the family. I was there in yeah. academy in, in 20, uh, 2005. Four, five, and uh, we used to get the letters, and not the way you know the, the movie border shows the letters comes and all. But yes, uh, we used to do a lot of the seniors used to give us letter when we used to do a lot of push-ups, a lot of hanging around, a lot of rolling. So that's how it is. And and if the the letter used to come, uh, it used to be too sentimental. We used to really cry, you know, for for mm. those things. Uh, those days, of course, mobiles were there. Of course, you know, uh, telecommunication was at this level. You know, internet was happening. But those letter had the feelings. Yeah. The letter has has the orientation. Mm. The letter had was meant for you. The name was written. It was only for you. And yeah. if your girlfriend letter used to come, then uh, you know you have to treat. Uh, <laughs> for that, and we used to be like hungry, like and we used to have the complete, you know, uh, the cube of the of, of the uh, no, ice cream. So that's how it used to happen. <laughs> also, we used to, and not very far, we used to write letters to our our friends, our buddies, our seniors. You know, that's how it used to be, right? And it created, yes, it was very simple, but it created uh, no emotion was lost. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Uh, uh, even if someone while writing has has uh, had tears in the eyes and maybe few tears were on the letters, uh, you can find that paper, you know, moist, moist there and, and, and you, you reciprocate while you're reading it. Oh, but now it is, it is too much like, you know, the full of emojis and, and we are, I don't know why we are in so much of hurry or why we have become like this. I have no idea. Yeah. Happy birthday has become HPD. Yes, yes, and uh, from the time when I was going to call and somebody wished the person today, just yeah. get a message called HPD. Yes, and you know what? These things, Rajiv, has made us knowingly, unknowingly, very lonely. Mm. Because when emotions you, uh, when the letters used to come, or people used to come and meet us, if you remember, once upon a time, yeah. uh, or a call, call used to come, uh, you know, the, the, the emotions, the pent up emotion used to be released. Absolutely. Now you don't have. Any release mechanism, right? Yes. The letters don't come. Uh, you don't see the face. Even if you see the face, you know, while talking, you're not interested. For example, I don't know what all of us are doing, you know, uh, uh, WhatsApp calls or uh, even the video calls. But mm. it is not that feeling. Uh, sure. The way the phone call used to come in our times when, you know, maybe not much difference, but yeah, the yeah. entire um, all I used to have one phone call, uh, one, one, one telephone, and everyone used to come and jumping and that auntie and that uncle. Somewhere we, we distanced, somewhere we became fast, somewhere we became better, somewhere we became more connected, but the emotions and the feeling got lost. Tell me, and Captain, tell me, Captain, you know, our kids are born in a generation which is like this. A lot of young leaders were in this generation. 
we can't expect them to start writing later but what would be your input to them to keep that emotion on end of the day all of them are also human beings like we were human beings somewhere you know what uh, uh, rajiv uh, i think that we we have started expressing less so when this whatsapp as you mentioned the emojis have taken care of those those smileys have have, have come into that the 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 the, the, the the different things which shows it but you don't tell it yeah. rather i think we should be practicing telling it even yeah. if if for example if you are a boss and you have subordinates those personalized messages today for example yeah. even there is one forward which is happening and there is one yeah. message which you write or even if you don't write a message if you want to further personalize it a note a sticky note at his table great job buddy would make his his his, his not even a day his week you will be carrying that glow for a week Mm-hmm. when you write something give it to him maybe not birthdays or or for example work anniversaries if you write the thanks a lot for all the support and we look forward to i think he it has made his year absolutely i agree because you know sometime back uh, many years back i read a very powerful phrase and i would like to quote this here which said even in this wired world what matters is that one handshake yes i think it's it's a brilliant quote and i could i could when i was reading this uh, sentence of yours of a letter that quote just resonated inside me which i read almost 8 9 10 years back great no it is really beautiful yeah so true so true thank you so much i think i think young young boys and girls listening to captain here uh, we're not asking you to go back to letter days you know we were the people who would write those indian letters to our fathers the postcards to our mothers some of you may not have seen it some of you may have seen it i think it's all about that personal touch so if you're leaders leading teams and organizations pick it up from captain that do not get bogged with technology and use it for everything end of the day we are social homo sapiens who need that pat on the back who need that shake hand so go ahead and do that i think that's a great point uh, captain thanks so much for that i'm going to go to the next one this was this was very very nice you know you talk about how the officers the senior folks in your uh, services days would always talk about their days you know, especially what kind of seniors and officers they were so when i was reading this i would remember my parents oh hamare zamane mein aise hota tha aap aise ho and then i would say don't say this and today i have got my son i say you know mai jab chhota tha i said oh shit this is, this is happening to me i hate this feeling i don't want to be the father who's doing what my dad did to me but you also beautifully said only two things have not changed on this planet which is immemorial bamboo trees and cockroaches so true <laughs> what's your advice to older leaders who are managing millennials you know i do a lot of work yeah. one of the thing that keeps coming to me rajiv can you help us bridge this gap between the old and the young in the organization what are some yeah. tips to them from your side captain you know what when i i'm writing uh, you know these days a book which is called life decoded and it has got it is it is more deep it it is it is talk a lot of things in which the conduct it, it simplifies but but again it goes further deep uh, about so many factors the way we came the way the earth started the way the universe started and all see the the reference of time mm. you know somehow this is the oldest reference what we have mm. and as we grow you know it's simple you know the first thing comes is uh, uh, you know uh, the the being elderly and they should be respected the first thing comes right mm. and we all po- start positioning it from 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 time to time mm. so for example your father used to do it or your grandfather used to do it and and you are doing it and your son is doing it now mm. so that is a reference which is quite quite old and and we we love to do it you know, because mm. that is the progression every year yeah. when you add to your the candles to your cake you know you're saying that okay this is something which defines you Mm. till the time you know you are you know you want to hide it or you want to while while we were talking you also mentioned that 23 years of my service and i, I somewhere I, i i spoke that 18 years of mine you know so it gives the weight that okay you are not a novice you you have you have been there and done that but it doesn't mean that you mm. have old people who are not mature and who are not wise mm. wisdom I, i i think it is not standing under the sun it is mm. is how many kicks you have got at your back Correct. Maybe today a kid who is maybe an entrepreneur will have more experience than me and you, mm. because he is he is adept in in in, in running mm. the company and so on, right? True. True. So neither being an old person makes you a, a better leader, or being mm. a younger one makes you a lesser leader. What mm. my feeling? Very true. If any time we bridge the gap and understand each other, mm. because whatever was happening at at you know let's say 60s and 70s is not happening in in 80s and 90s. Mm. Your, your 
that's time and and or 2000s and and you are in my time yeah. and will yeah. not from now True. so we have to understand that hmm. so somewhere a disconnect happens when you start uh, disrespecting each other hmm. their time your time and my time is better and your time is this at at the end if i tell you see the truths have not changed yeah yeah the truth will be same hmm Mm. Right, the truth of 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 the conduct, mm. the truth of the ethics, the truth of the protocols, correct. The truth of the feelings, the truth mm. of being right in your conduct. That mm. those will not change. Yes, mm. uh, while the way we are talking or or we are we are addressing, you know, the town mm. halls are happening today, or the conduct of the employees is happening, or there is a digital office happening. Those things might change. Yeah. But integrity will be the same. True. So this True. truth will not change. if we can sublime all these factors mm. get the learnings from the old, from the elder generation mm. right and deploy it in the current scenario i mm. think it will be a beautiful mix that well, the word sublime i think that's a lovely word that you said sublime it correct correct yeah makes sense very true very true because you know their time was their time this time is this time there's no need to connect these two time zones at all both of them had its own best of inputs that the people in that generation got Yeah. you could pick up a lot of learnings from there pick a lot of learning from this side and figure out how do you have that handshake i think i think very very rightly said that and and i love the fact that uh, there's only the bamboo trees and the cockroaches <laughs> which have not changed time immemorial human beings have always been evolving have always been changing you know i i i could relate to something that uh, uh, as you speak you know our days when when a father would come for example you know i i'm i'm studying the room and my father would call me rajiv he called me once he'll call me twice rajiv uh, he'll call me thrice rajiv but let's say i don't appear in front of him itni baar se bulana suna nahi de raha kya kar rahe ho jaldi aao yes today same rajiv who is a father i got a son called vidur i say vidur once vidur twice vidur thrice he doesn't come i walk in his room and say beta busy ho i want to talk to you for a bit yeah yeah the dimension has changed the son would come to the hall and the father would yell and call him but to the father goes to the son and says what are you doing can we talk in both times the context as you rightly said was a conversation between the father and the son how does it matter whether it is happening in the hall or happening in the room of the son just doesn't matter at all it's so yeah. immaterial yeah. yeah yeah very true very good it's a beautiful example what you gave yes it is very relevant is the things it? have changed Absolutely. but the things have made us and are making us if we accept it a better human being oh yes yes and charles darwin very clearly says in his book that every generation is 3.4 times more intelligent than the earlier one and this proves yes yes nobody can deny it you like it you don't like it it's fact yes <laughs> my sister yes. papa aapko samajh bhi nahi aata you're so slow and say oh i said the same thing to my dad in mobile came in and kya came first time yes. he would struggle <laughs> yeah so true so true so true Lovely. I'm going to go to the the last one, which is a very interesting one. I, I love the the Soho's pub, the Pune <laughs> episodes of you know uh, with the lady Sonia Kasi and then your Colonel daughter. Yes. All that was very beautifully beautifully pictureized there. I think I think a very powerful statement that she said. And I think before that, um, I think in, in a conversation, one of your batchmates or cadet said that you know people join army for two reasons. Some of them join for profession. Some of them join for passion. and we are here for the latter one right which means we don't see as little long term in the in the army seeing it as a profession but as long as we are there we want to be absolutely passionate about it yeah and she makes this very powerful statement which is borrowed from lord krishna protect the dharma and dharma should protect you dharmo rakshate rakshita yeah correct ranji what is a big input for the young leaders today how should they interpret dharmo rakshate rakshita you know what this the, maybe this sentence or you know um, or the shloka which you mentioned can summarize the entire book mm. uh and it is not that me telling or you telling it is the way it is mm. yeah the uh, the we say the dharm ki sansthapna karni hogi and that's how Correct. you know which in, whatever the the scriptures or the books or the the heroes what we have seen Correct. that's what they do it. and that is the righteousness or you you read you know the fountain it mm. you know the character howard rock yeah. that's how it is you know and every hero or the leader are to be expected to do that mm. you cannot be the thief of virtue mm. you cannot 
you cannot be a thief of dharma then mm. you are not a leader mm. and and the the thing the, the the real inspiration writing this book and it's not the because i was existing them i was wearing the uniform somehow i felt that though we respect the soldiers we respect the nation but somehow i felt that they are not remember mm. right and it is it is something i was talking to my wife you know few days back and i was telling and she was and many of them they said you are too sentimental about army or it's not about army it's 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 about the conduct mm. people should be remembered for their mm. righteousness people should be rem- because see everyone has got a choice yeah yeah and you know, the, the thing between a warrior and a coward is that choice and so, I, uh, the first sentence which i says you want to carry on or you want to leave yeah and you carry on more and 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 you know you win that's how the entire thing is mm. now protecting the dharma is is a big you know responsibility mm. you cannot you must not and if you told because otherwise you are a pseudo leader you are Very an opportunist sure. yeah right you you are you are just you know having that 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 makeup of being 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 a, being a leader and Very which in, in the current situation we have seen those cases again i'll not say those that 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 case became very popular the guy calling 600 or employees or 300 or employees and yeah, sacking yeah. them on 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 yeah. teams call it's yeah. not justified absolutely right because you don't want to be treated like that and leaders yeah. are not supposed to do something like this mm. Mm. yes we can understand the such scenario it is tough it is difficult but we can talk it out we can think together mm. right and that's how the conduct can happen yeah but you cannot become a thief of dharma Mm. if you are that then you are not a leader and if you are not a leader then you cannot have a chair in the organization or a cabin in the organization which you are supposed to do beautiful beautiful because once the the you know that's how and you know for example what simon simon senex says that the leaders uh, you know you 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 respect the leader or give them the chair right or the leaders eat last or whatever the thing is yeah. eat for so because whenever there is a crisis these people should come and protect you very true yeah then if we don't we are not doing this then we should go and return every respect which was given to us beautiful every person you know uh, who has who has saluted us or who has who has thanked us or who has given the chair or opened the room for the the, the cabin for us should you should go and return all those those uh, you know uh, the, the the elements of respect back i agree because you don't you don't you don't earn it anymore yes so. and it is a crime because you cheated all of them and i think we we any any one of us we are very sentimental that is the thing when we say that uh, 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 clinton when when he was taken as a leader and he did not perform as a leader he has to go and apologize and leave the chair because yes. that was not the rightful uh, approach of a leader correct or we have many such cases absolutely right absolutely. or we have tiger roads for example you know it's oh, yes. not just if yeah and we have the 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 the, the scandal in the cricket you are sure. not you cannot because see being a leader it is not that you know okay once is that okay because of your efforts work skills and also it is you are many people are following you yeah. these days there are many uh, so called influencers and I, i i hate this word these days because the word is losing the value i agree because that is something because many people you know will follow you and you cannot you must not you know cheat on 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 the dharma and and that was the the reason of this entire book that there is a conduct of a soldier but the soldier also has a choice no militant from the adversary comes to kill the soldier mm. right there's no problem with me or you wearing mm. the uniform he has got a problem with the entire nation he wants to create some disturbance yeah but if he is not taken care of if he is mm. not not respected because mm. once you die and that is the mm. biggest sacrifice anyone would do me you yeah. anyone Yeah. but it cannot happen that uh, your life is is a better or a bigger life than my life very all the lives are the same very all the lives are the same, right and to to protect that you know there is lot of more than courage righteousness mm. is there. so we are taught so, integrity first do correct. what you say and say what you do if you are mm. wearing the uniform it is not that and my my name is written there it's not that it's my name the uniform mm. will be the same yeah you yeah. will never want to know the story of a of a of a of a soldier who became a deserter or who ran away from a place very true because you never, your heroes are not like that mm. heroes are those, like those avengers who go and fight bang on right spider man just take the bullets on on the chest right Correct. so heroes are and will be always like that they will create inspirations they mm. will be not those influencers who are just dancing and jumping here and there 
and the 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 owners of a leader or of a of a so called uh, hero is to protect the dharma and and that's beautiful. how i meant beautiful beautiful I mean, lovely such a lovely articulation thank you so much i think i think this was just the cherry on the cake of this lovely lovely conversation captain pranav absolutely humbled to have you on the show and it was a lovely conversation i thoroughly enjoyed it and thank you for taking us through those pearls of wisdom that you've written in the book i recommend all of you guys pick up this book it's a lovely thin book mota nahi hai you can just breeze it off in in two days if you sit through and read it it's lovely all of you please go and pick it up it's a lovely book captain thank you so much once again i hope you enjoyed the conversation thank you rajiv pleasure was all mine it was my honor uh, to to connect with you to have such a lovely conversation and of course uh, very soon we will we will connect on your book uh, or, or your your teachings to to the entire ecosystem that is quite awaited and i am i'm i'm really you know uh, will be honored that someday i do this talk for you <laughs> as the reversal of the rules <laughs> yes <laughs> well i don't know if i can ever become an author it, it calls for tremendous amount of knowledge and wisdom that you guys bring out to the table so i'm i'm very happy at the moment in life on this side reading it and receiving all those wisdom and leave the hard work of writing to you guys i don't ever do that as of now but you never know so, like we said alag time mein alag cheeze karenge <laughs> but lovely once again you have a good day ahead see you soon thank you you too happy weekend thank you bye bye Thank you.